and stuff. And how I'm a. Meow. I'm a pan. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy. Dion Brock. And we're here with the first inaugural. Inaugural? 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 The first episode of Between Brock and the Hard Place. <laughs> Is that corny? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of, of, of a name still for this podcast right here, man. <clears throat> I really am. But Between Brock and the Hard Place sounds sound kind of good. I don't know. I like it. It's kind of catchy. I like it. I like it. But this is the very first episode of this podcast, man. As y'all see from the title, Atlanta, today's episode is all about us, man. But before we get too far into the episode, man, you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button. Join the family. I might start doing like maybe like, you know, every, every now and then. Just, just, just to see, just to got, you know, put, put my foot in the water to see how, to see how I do. Just to see if I can, you know, catch on with this type of uh, stuff. But um yeah man. Uh and eventually I'm gonna get better equipment. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some sound stuff around here. Uh you know, microphone, get better microphone. I'm I'm gonna get the, I'm 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 gonna learn the setup. You know, this thing gonna get take off. Do do, do what we do with it. You see all the all the Auburn uh, you see all the Auburn gear. You see what it is. You see you you see the Panther. Okay? But anyways man Top of the day, Atlanta. Atlanta is the worst sports team in sports history. All of Atlanta. Georgia in general. Georgia in general, man. First, 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 first off. Atlanta. No, swear to God, The state of Georgia probably had the worst week of all time, man. Okay? We got the Atlanta Falcons. Coming out here losing to a rookie. A rookie Calum Calum Murray. You got the, the 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 Bulldogs coming out here, losing to South Carolina, an unranked team, an unranked team, man. Okay, and don't get me don't get me started about the Hawks, man. The Hawks ain't been good since since back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Back back in, back, back when uh your boy uh Dominique Wilkins was playing. You know what I'm saying? Quick little side story. That man cheap, man. Back in the day. When I worked for Domino's, I pulled up on the man. I, I don't know. I, I saw his name. It said Domino's. Oh, I was, what? It's crazy. Pulled up on the man. It was actually him. Maybe a father too. End of story. But anyways, man, it's cheap. Anyways, but that beside the point. But this, it's, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to cheer for a team when they constantly let you down. But the difference between Atlanta fans and other teams' fans, like the, the Browns and stuff, is that their fans are loyal. They will stick with them through thick and thin. Atlanta fans do not do that. They, they don't do that. They just, they just don't. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. But how can you blame other people from being from Georgia and not want to cheer for these teams? Would you? If you if you, if you you were from uh, Cleveland, if you were from uh, – let's talk from here. Let's talk from here. Okay, put it like this. Okay, I feel like in Georgia, a lot of a lot of people weren't really weren't really um, raised as fans, like as like home team fans. Maybe college stuff, but as far as the pros, like Atlanta is still like a newer team. Like I think at least, but regardless, like we weren't raised like growing up. I'm like, oh my gosh, Falcons go like Falcons like forever. Like some of the other other, other kids. Or the other fans are some people like the Packers stuff. Like these people are born from day one as Packers fans, like coming out with Packers gear. <laughs> show me, show me the pictures. I mean, I, I know it's, it's a few. It's a few people. It's a few people who got some some old school pics when they were babies and some some Falcons gear. Maybe one or two fits though. Show me, show me, show me your whole array from a baby of you wearing Falcons gear. Show me. I'll wait. I will wait. Cause it ain't happen. Atlanta, we weren't raised like that. It's not our fault. It's not our fault. Good point right here. Good point right here. The other week, I'm in the, in the uh, barbershop. Long story short, we're in the barbershop, talking about the Falcons stuff, and how I'm a... Yeah. I'm a Panthers fan, you feel me? And that, the dude was so mad, like, how are you 
How are you from a, how are you like a whole different state's team? How? Simple. My father didn't raise me growing up like, oh my, we're, we're, we're five. I didn't get raised on that. I didn't get to like, to like, like an NFL so I was like a teenager. And guess, and guess what team was not on, on my map? Guess. Just guess. The Falcons weren't. They weren't a cool team. No, they had Vic. So it's a whole different ballpark. But you know what I'm saying? I'm rambling on right now, man. Let's get into today's topic, man. Okay. Let's start off with these Falcons, man. I don't understand how you have this potent offense. Not, I'm scared. They don't even have a potent offense. They have offensive superstars. You got the best receiver in the league. Scratch that. The best receiver in the world in Julio Jones. You have a top tier quarterback in Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan, okay, listen. People hate Matt Ryan. He, Matt Ryan is, he's not clutch. It's real talk. He's not clutch. He's not, he's not an Aaron Rodgers type of guy. But he is, he's a top tier quarterback. Look at the stats, man. Don't they pull stats out real fast for you guys? Let's take the stats real fast with uh, Matt Ryan this year, man. He pull them up real fast. Give me one sec. Let's start right here. Matt Ryan this year, man. Matt Ryan this year looking like this. He's not having a bad year. Okay, so far this year, he has 2,011 passing yards, 15 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. Not terrible. A 62.9 QBR is 7th in the least. He's a top 10 quarterback in stat wise. He's not that bad. But my thing is, you got all these weapons. You let Tevin Coleman walk. You didn't want to pay that man. Y'all had a, a dynamic duo with Freeman and Coleman. Y'all let that man walk. Honestly and truthfully, Coleman was the better of the two. He was he was he was a he he was a, a, a one play touchdown at any given moment. Freeman, you know, you know, you know, he's all right. But what about this year? He ain't, he ain't doing nothing this year like that. You feel me? And he got Julio Jones this year. What he look like? Thirty four receptions, four hundred sixty seven yards, four touchdowns. What's this like? What was what, 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 like week seven? Week seven right here? It's not bad. Four touchdowns throughout throughout uh, what seven weeks? That's not terrible. This is deep as we had. We we have the players. We got your boy Grady. We have the number two, the number two best interior D lineman in the league. Not we, but the Falcons. <laughs> and my boy Grady Jarrett, man. You got you got you got Deion Jones out there. One of the best hybrid linebackers that we've seen in years. Hard hitting, fast. If, if y'all stay, if even gonna stay healthy, would be good. Well, y'all be good. But y'all have the pieces. Y'all have two front. Y'all have all the pieces. Y'all need to be. Y'all have the best receiving court in the league. Sanu, Jones, Ridley, Hooper, Hooper. Come on, man. It's it's it's, it's really it's really inexcusable to be one and five right now. One and five. And look and look. You know you know what's scary. Right? You know what's scary. You know what's scary. I'm gonna tell you what's scary here. You saw something. I'm gonna tell you something here. The Falcons are one to five right now, or one to six, one and above. Next week, they got the Seahawks. After that, the Saints. Then the Panthers, and then the Buccaneers. And the way the Buccaneers are playing this year, I mean, I, I take them. I really do. I, I take the Buccaneers. I really do. The Falcons have a very good chance of, of finishing off 1 to 15 this year. They have a very good chance of finishing off 1 and 15 this year. It's very possible. It's very possible. And I don't know how this is going to work out, man. I don't see it. I feel like, you know, Dan Quinn's out of here. Like, he's a good coach. He really is a good coach. But, like, I heard before, you can, you can only get the same message so many times. Like, Doc Rivers, then. Like, when Doc Rivers, um, like, like when he coaching, like, you, 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 your team can be good. You have a great message. But, you know what I'm saying, five, six, six years in a row, it's like, all right, man, okay. All right, okay. The team's not believing. And I feel like that is where the Falcons are right now. The team don't believe. Like, they, they just, they're tired of his message. Rise up. Y'all had Samuel L. Jackson down here. Y'all had Samuel L. Jackson down here with a choir. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all. See y'all do it. Uh, come on, man. Anyways, man. Let's talk about the... I don't watch baseball. I don't watch baseball, but I can on Twitter. 
And I didn't see world record. The new new world record. New 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 record set. First ever time. Ten runs in the first. Ten runs in the first inning. This dude at the gym. He he was he, he talked baseball so much. I don't know nothing either, but I don't care about baseball. Whatever. Blah blah blah. He been telling me he was like, yeah, the Braves. Are, they always lose. He said the Braves are just a regular season team. They were win in the regular season. Get it? That sounds so familiar, don't it? Who that, who that sound like? Falcons. Anyways, <laughs> he said they, they go and they always lose. You know I didn't care, but the the, the have ten runs and for the first inning. I'm not good at baseball. I don't know much about it, but I know. A lot of games I see, it don't even have more than 10 points scored all together. They had 10 runs in the first inning. Stand up for yourself. You got to stand up for yourself. How can you be a man and have that happen to you? Where's your pride? Where's your morals? But yet, our fans are, are, are the bad guys. How can we How can we accept that? How, how can we? How can we accept that? And, and like, hey, like it's hard, it's hard. Cause like, like I say, a lot of us, a lot of these people out here aren't day one Falcons fans, so it's, it's nothing to, to you know, to, to, to not care about the team unless they winning. And that's why I feel like that's why I feel like the Falcons ain't winning the bowl yet. Cause I feel like the fans don't deserve it. I don't think truly, they, y'all, y'all don't. You don't deserve it. Cause you're not loyal. You're not loyal. You will bash the team so much. But then when they win, all of a sudden, oh, we're gonna be on we'll tear that up. We gonna tear that up. We gonna tear the city up. But but yeah, but here y'all go bashing this, bashing them all. And you know, I don't you know. It's all good. You see, real fast, man. Real fast, Cam. We love you, man. They say they say my boy Cam back healthy. They say they, they, they say he, he he will be back after the bye week. Not he will, but it's a good chance of it. You feel me? So forward no without him, but <laughs> you know that besides the point. Four and two, you know, looking good, looking good. But yeah, man. So, what y'all think about the Falcons, man? What y'all think about the, the whole, the whole Georgia sports thing in, in, in general? You know what's messed up? Is that that's how you know these fans, our fans aren't loyal. Think about it. Georgia Tech gets no love, but they're in Atlanta. Like, they're the team that's in Georgia that's in Atlanta. UJ is Athens. But yet, <laughs> Georgia gets all the love because they've been the, the good team. You see how that works? You see why I, I, I say that how our, our fans work? I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I don't get it, man. But like I say, man, you guys let me know what you think about this, man. Are the Falcons the worst sports team in history? Are the Braves the worst sports team in history? Are the Hawks? The worst sports team in history. The only thing good Atlanta got right now is that uh is that soccer team, Atlanta United. And I didn't say that that's a real thing for the long I thought they was just some backyard soccer stuff. But hey, they good. Hey. Guess who my favorite soccer team is? Atlanta United. They, they, they are now. Throwing today. Like I say, guys new here, man, subscribe to the channel. More videos coming. Mighty. Yeah.